Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been too long. The last video I published on my channel was actually my Bath & Body Works winter semi-annual sale haul in which I believe I talked for about 50 minutes. We had such issues getting that video up on YouTube, but so many people watched it. I believe we got over 200 people to watch that video, maybe 300. And one of my videos I know is already at like 455, and I think that's the gingham video. So thank you guys so much for watching that. Happy 2020! I know that we're off to a bad start with all this news about the COVID-19 going around right now, but you know, what better thing to do than to stay home if you can and watch YouTube? That's what I do certainly when I have, you know, not much going on. So I thought I'd film for you guys a bunch of new videos because I have plenty of time now because I'm not doing anything else. So since you can't go anywhere, that I thought I would go ahead and kind of do some more videos. We actually have some uh, new idea videos coming up. Um, so it's not just going to be Bath and Body Works. But this first one is, so if you guys remember back to last year, we did a spring 2019 soap haul. And of course, we are back at it with our spring 2020 soap haul, baby. Yeah, we got all of it right here. Or pretty much all of it, not the ones I don't like. So, I don't want this intro to be so long, but yes, I am back on YouTube, everybody, and yes, you guys are about to get a full $250 soap haul review, because they've increased prices on the soaps. They're now $750, so I will put the grand total of how much all this without sale would cost, and since they aren't giving sales, here is the cost. I believe it's around 200 so you guys check that out. All these soaps are on Bath & Body Works website. I'll give a little like note to sell if it's not online anymore because either it's sold out. Bath & Body Works stores right now nationwide are closed, so you cannot go. However, I did see some of these soaps in stores, so when they reopen, if they reopen soon, maybe you guys will be able to get some of these soaps. I say that because some of them are Easter themed, so I have no idea. They may have sold out for good. And of course, Bath & Body Works just released a, like, I think 15 new soaps where there will be a video on that one coming up soon. So I don't want to keep on rambling. I'm so glad to be back on YouTube though. So let's get into today's video. So I can review all of these spring 2020 soaps. Let's get on to the video. Now, I'm not going to lie, I did not count how many we have, but let's do a quick count. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. 46 soaps, baby! Let's get those hands uh, washing, you know? I always say this, but quick PSA before we get started with today's video. Wash your hands, y'all. It's gross. Y'all who ain't washing your hands, I see you. I know. Take the time. Wash your hands. Don't get me sick. Anyway, that's my time. That's all we have for our quick PSA today. So let's get into all of these soaps. So yes, I mentioned this in the intro, but they have increased the soap price to $7.50. Bath & Body Works is just increasing every price that they can. Some candles are $26.50 instead of $24.50. Uh, hand creams are now $6.50 instead of $5, which $5 is already enough, but they, they know we'll pay more. So let's go ahead and start kind of reviewing these soaps. Again, a great way to stay like healthy and clean during this time of uncertainty using some hand soaps. So let's get into all of these. So we have our first one right here. This one actually retails for $8.50 because of the special packaging. And I mean, why wouldn't it? Look how beautiful this packaging is, you guys. Um, a real like artsy look. Now, if you've seen the candles, they have this kind of look. So this is kind of the match, kind of that candle style. Uh, it's actually kind of textured, but beautiful, beautiful um, design on this. I actually really like it. It's $8.50. And this is Honolulu Sun. So this smells like fresh island coconut, Pacific palm, and driftwood, you guys. So again, one more look at the packaging, I'll smell it for you guys. 
So I like this one, but I go back and forth because I, for some reason this gives me like a, it's like a coconut scent, but it's almost an artificial coconut scent. But you can definitely smell that Pacific Palm and that coconut. Again, I like it. However, I have a little hack for you guys today. If I can pull up the right one. Hold on, you guys. Here. This one is the Honolulu Sun in the other packaging. This is $7.50. This is $8.50. So, if they're all on sale for like the sale price of $3 and you just buy this one. But if it's not and you just love this packaging, you guys, I recommend buying this one in one. And then you guys can buy this one, which is cheaper, and buy a bunch of this, and then just pour it when you're done using that. That's what I did, because I did not want to have to pay $8.50 for this. But I got this on sale for $3 when they have the sale. So again, beautiful packaging. Love that one a lot. And I definitely would give that a good rating. You guys should check it out. This one is Gingham. I was actually surprised this didn't come out last year for the whole Gingham line. But it's out now, and it is the beautiful... Uh, scent that we all love and it smells like blue freesia, sweet clementine, and soft violet petals and it smells exactly how gingham smells. So let me go ahead and give that a smell for you guys. Yeah, so that's basically how I can describe it. You smell that fresh uh, spring scent and definitely you're getting a little bit of that fruity scent from the clementine. You do get a little bit of that violet petal in it. I don't know what the blue freesia is supposed to smell like, but I can tell you that if you are a gingham fan, you will love this. All right, and that one's normal price. This one came out with the Tropicals line. This is something that I was really excited about. It's Wakiki Beach Coconut. So for all of you guys who are Wakiki Beach Coconut fans, they finally made a soap with it. All the labels are <laughs> messed up, which gives me extreme anxiety and OCD because I'm like, y'all don't even know when I'm like, I just want to move it, like straighten it out, like it drives me nuts. But I love this scent. So the scent notes are dragon fruit, water bamboo, and coconut jasmine. And y'all, this smells like Waikiki or Waikiki. I think it's Waikiki. If I'm saying it wrong and I'm offending somebody, I'm sorry. I mean, you know, I don't know how to pronounce all these things. You guys know that. You've seen some of my videos before. I don't know how to pronounce stuff sometimes. So Waikiki uh, beach coconut smells like you know, the soap smells exactly like the body care. I honestly love the cool coloration that it gets, and the green really matches with that maroonish kind of red color. The dyes aren't anything bad. They're just dyed that way to give it more of like a cool uh, look, and it is see-through, so you can see your soap levels, which I like because some of them you can't really tell where your soap's at, but this one is perfect. Smells good, five out of five. Definitely a great one. This next one is uh, Happy Easter Sweet Bunnyberry. Can we talk for a second about how cute the packaging is this year for the Easter line? Like, I can't even get over it myself. Originally, I was hating on this line. I was like, mm-mm, smells like... My uh, sales rep said to me, it smells a bit like cough medicine or like some sort of medicine. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. And then I bought it, and I used it, and I have to say I am falling in love with this one. It is sparkling raspberry candy petals and crystallized sugar. There you guys go. The notes, and again, look how cute the bunny is with the glasses and the Easter eggs around it. Such pretty packaging. Compared to last year's, which wasn't as fun, this one really gets an A rating for me. This soap, by the way, gets a total 5 out of 5. It's sweet. It's candy smelling. And it has a little bit of a fruity scent. I love this one to pieces. I would buy 40 of them. I actually did buy like a ton of this because I love it so very, very much. And again, you guys should totally check that out. It is sold out online though, which made me really sad because I want you guys to be able to try all the stuff I always review in my videos. And unfortunately, I don't know when it's going to be back in stock. But definitely check on the website, y'all. See if it comes back in stock. This is the second Easter soap. There are three. The one is this sprinkled donut scent, which... Don't, don't get me started. It smelled nasty. <laughs> um, I don't know why y'all want your fans to smell like donuts, but you do you. <laughs> so this is the Spring Has Sprung Linen and Lavender one. Look how cute this packaging is again with the bunny, with the grass and the butterflies on it. Such beautiful wraparound packaging. This is crisp linen, lavender sea salt, and fresh air breeze. 
And this just smells like a clean lavender. Now, some people don't like lavender, and I am one of those people who got in a battle with lavender, and lavender won. I do not like lavender. I've always hated lavender. And this one definitely has a lavender scent, you know? But you're also getting that crisp linen and a fresh, earthy scent with that sea salt. So I happen to like this one. It's not, it's kind of reminds me of French lavender. So I was, I asked the sales today, I was like, is this just a repackaging of that? But she said, no, this is a new one that they created. It certainly smells like there's a little bit more sea salt in this. So I do like it. I can't tell, I haven't used it yet, so I can't tell you if I'll get tired of it. But I certainly recommend it, four out of five, I would say. And then I guess because I'm giving reviews, three out of five and five out of five, because I love the packaging so much. This one is Turquoise Waters, beautiful packaging. Uh, this one comes out every year, I think. And this is Bergamot, Daylily, and Sea Spray. By the way, I don't know if they changed the formula a little bit, but it just smells so good. It smells clean, fresh, and a little bit of a hint of sea salt. It really does smell like if you were standing out in the ocean and you just took a whiff of the you know, fresh air, it really smells like turquoise water. So five out of five on that one. Love it, love it, love it. Let's keep it moving. We have Fiji White Sands, which this packaging is the Tropicals packaging. White Sands, Vanilla Orchid, and Warm Amber. You guys can see, look at the cute pineapple and all the little fun stuff around the Fiji White Sands logo. Smells really good. And the pack, or the, the color is like a nice lightish turquoise blue, which looks so pretty. And again, with that see-through packaging, again, this one is like a warm vanilla scent, almost like a warm toasted vanilla with a hint of coconut. I love this one so much. And um, smells really good. I highly recommend, five out of five. I always buy it every year. Uh, another repeat of the um, Happy Easter Sweet Bunny Berry Soap. We have another one of the Spring of Sprung Linen and Lavender Soap. Oh, here's another one. All right, so this one is another tropical one, and this is Mango Mai Tai, which smells like mango nectar, sun-kissed grapefruit, and sugar cane. So this one has a beautiful orange color to it, and smells really sweet, has a really nice fruity scent. I'm trying to think what I smelled this before. Oh my god, I totally have smelled this before, and I can't remember right at the moment where I smelled this one. Let me give it one more scent, one more sniff. I can't place my head around it, but this is totally like a fruity, like totally, you smell that grapefruit and you smell that mango, totally love this one. It smells really, really good. Another Wakiki, and five out of five on that. Wakiki Beach Coconut again. We've got another, oh, here's a Coastal Air. So this, by the way, I love the packaging this year on these, these ones. Coastal Air reminds me of Freshwater and Aloe from last year. So if you go back and watch last year's video, I think I reviewed that one. So Coastal Air is Water Lily, Sun Drenched Lime, and Lavender. A really nice, clean ocean scent. Smells really fresh and clean and honestly smells very coastal. So I love this one, five out of five on that. This one is the Rosewater and Ivy Soft Rose Petals Rain Kissed Ivy and Spring Musk. It's not new or anything, but I love the packaging. It's a bit sweet, but has a hint of musk to it. So it's like a rose, but with a little bit of a musk scent. I like this one. Some people hate it, but this one definitely four out of five for me. We've got another Sweet Bunny Berry, and we've got, I believe, another Linen and Lavender. Let's keep it moving on. Uh, we've got a Sunshine and Lemons. This one smells really good. I love the packaging. Beautiful yellow color, by the way. And it almost reminds me of Kitchen Lemon, but it's a little different because it has yuzu, grapefruit, and sun rays. I will tell you, I love when they're cute with the packaging, but y'all, y'all, why are you telling me that you can't, what does the sun ray smell like? Like, I honestly would have like a 10 minute argument with somebody about that because I don't know, that doesn't seem like a scent note to me when it says here are the notes. I'm like, mm -mm, that's not a note, but it smells really good, honestly. It has like a nice, citrusy scent, lemon, um, really good for maybe the kitchen or a bathroom. I love this one so, so much. It definitely gives me, uh, fills me with sunshine, so definitely a five out of five on that one. Then we've got another Coastal Air, beautiful packaging. Here is a Sun Wash Citrus. So this is another one with the texture packaging. This is 850. Um, so Sun Wash Citrus smells like sugared lemons, juicy pineapple, and mandarin. There's again, look at the packaging. So this one has 
a bit of a, if you guys have ever smelled like a, the pina colada gummy bear, or the pineapple gummy bear one, kind of reminds me of that. Uh, you definitely get that pineapple and the sugared lemons, and it's very fruity and sweet, so I like that one. Five out of five on that. Turquoise waters, again, happy Easter bunny berry. This is the Honolulu Sun in the other packaging, which equally smells good. I give that about like a four out of five on that one. We've got another Fiji White Sands, um, another Turquoise Waters, and another Mango Mai Tai. And then another Wikiki Beach Coconut, another Gingham, and then we have a Fresh Cut Lilacs. Now the packaging on this is just a plain white barn packaging. They did come out with a new packaging that is super cute. This smells like lilac bouquets, dewy greens, and soft spring air. Oh, this one smells so good. It has a sweet lilac scent, flowery, floral, great springtime scent to put by your bathroom sink. Five out of five on that. Coastal air again. Oh, this one is your excellent blue ocean waves. And this smells like creamy sandalwood, salty ocean breeze, and lemon zest. And y'all know that they have a Blue Ocean Waves in the um, wallflower and the candle. And this is the soap. It didn't come out till later, but I really like this. It has a really nice, like, salty sea breeze kind of scent with a little bit, of, again, I get that ocean breeze and a little bit of that sandalwood. It smells really good. I like this one a lot, so I totally recommend this one. Um, for people who maybe want to do like that for like their child's bathroom or something. It has a cute little T-Rex on it. Or me, or anybody else. I think it looks cute. Uh, fresh cut lilacs in the soap. Another one. Another sunshine and lemons. And then we have another Wikiki Beach and a turquoise waters right there. Another, uh, your excellent blue ocean waves. Another sweet bunny berry. And I know it's a lot of repeats, but, I'm um, showing you guys. So, uh, Fiji White Sands, this one is a, uh, Coastal Air, another Sweet Bunny Berry, another, um, oh wait, no, this is a different one. So, I first reviewed this one last year, this is Be Magical Unicorn Milkshake with a cute unicorn on it. It smells like sugared vanilla and juicy passion fruit. So, let's see. It smells really good. You definitely get that vanilla, but it's fruity, so I love this one, 5 out of 5, on that. Another uh, spring has sprung linen and lavender, and another tur turquoise waters, excuse me. Now, I happen to have two soap holders because I bought one for uh, me and one for uh, another person in my family. Um, by the way, can we talk? I don't like the T-Rex uh, soap dispenser, but I love this one. I know it's kind of plain, but I love the flamingo on it. Mine came broken, so I repaired it, you guys, but it comes with a cute, like, glittery flamingo. By the way, don't worry, this isn't too glittery. Like, I'm rubbing my hand on it right now and uh, glitter doesn't come off it or anything, so don't worry about that. Um, has cute, like, seagrass look around it, and again, has a palm tree in the front, which I think is really cute, and you can just stick your soap in like that, y'all, and uh, it looks really, really cute. So great for a summertime by the sink look. Personally speaking, I thought that it was really, really cute, and I totally think that you guys will like it. It's $14.50, but if you have the rewards, if you spent $75, you can get an item up to $16.50 free. So that's what I did. Um, so we have another, so let's go into the uh, gentle gel hand soaps. These are new. They did not used to have gel hand soaps that were not with the little deep cleansing, little moisturizing um, sea salt bits in it. This is just pure liquid hand soap. So this is uh, Fresh Cut Lilacs. Again, original packaging and everything. Really, really like it. All $7.50. This is turquoise waters. This has the little bits of sea salt in it, but that makes it really good when you're rubbing on your hands. You get a little bit of that sea salt. It's supposed to really luxuriate and, you know, kind of work your hands, make sure they're not um, being, like, dried out. The foaming soaps in general sometimes dry out your hands, so I totally recommend the, the gels or the deep cleansing because they don't dry out your hands as quickly. Uh, Fiji White Sands, beautiful packaging. Now, this packaging is different from the next one I'll show you, so take a look at this one. Um, really, really like this one. Um, and this one, so the difference is, and there's a difference, this has little bits in it that will give it a kind of deep cleansing, 
with a little bit of uh, minerals in it and a little bit of sea salt. This is Fiji White Sands in the tropical packaging, which is beautiful, by the way, beautiful blue color, um, beautiful wraparound packaging. This is just the gel, though, so this will just be gel, no bits in it. And then I got a Wakiki Beach Coconut. Look how pretty this packaging is, you guys. There's a flamingo on it, um, some big flowers, very, very fun and festive for summer. And um, this one is also a gel, so it's really, really easy to use. Um, no minerals or anything in that. They didn't make one in the Wakiki Beach that did have minerals uh, and a little sea salt in it. So again, the deep cleansing are the ones with the sea salt and the gels are the ones with that. And the gels are new for this year. But everything on this table is $7.50 except for the ones that have the gray lid like this with a little bit more of a sophisticated kind of packaging. It's only because they have it manufactured a little bit differently. I think the, the look kind of affects the price. So anyways, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Like I said at the beginning of the video, there will be tons of new videos coming out over this kind of two-week period where I have off, you know? And so I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, like I said, there are like 15 new soaps that did come out on the website. I'm trying to wait for a sale or at least until they're not making a limit on the hand soaps to purchase another. So we may actually, for the first time ever on this channel, have a uh, spring slash summer hand soap part two, or I may just wait until later in the year, like June-ish, to release a part two to this video. But anyways, you guys, that is it for today's video, and I hope you guys check out bathandbodyworks.com. All these soaps should be on there, except for the Easter ones. They are sold out right now, but keep checking back, everyone. All stores are closed, so you guys can shop online right now. Send it straight to your door. Uh, make sure you subscribe down below. Hit that like button and turn on your notifications. I love you guys so much, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your week. There should be another video, like I said, for the 10th time today. So that is it.